Mark Vaughan. My name is Duncan White. I'm the managing editor of the International Fire and Safety Journal. I'm here at FDIC in Indianapolis and I'm delighted to be here with Kurt Becker from Perimeter Solutions. Kurt, how are you, my friend? I'm wonderful, Duncan. Thanks so much for giving us the opportunity to have this conversation. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. There's so much going on quite right now in, in relation to foam and we're seeing a uh, a whole different mindset coming into the, the world of firefighting. We're facing all sorts of issues and the guys at uh, Perimeter Solutions are certainly ahead of the curve when it comes to putting in place uh, solutions that uh, we need to bring to market. So Kurt, tell yeah. us a little bit about what you guys are doing. So um, let me tell you a little bit about me first. Uh, so I was on the job as a career firefighter for about 22 years. Uh, I was on a busy urban truck company in Metro St. Louis. Uh, it was that background that really drove me to uh, find ways to, to, to change the, the life uh, of the firefighters that I worked with. Uh, I spent a lot of time working with the union, um, really driving health and safety issues. Um, uh, that, was, that was something that I was really passionate about. Um, um, and when I retired uh, from the job, um, had the opportunity to spend some time in Washington, D.C., continuing that firefighter health and safety mindset. Uh, and I'm thrilled to be here with Perimeter Solutions uh, because, as you mentioned, uh, this company has uh, a, a real passion uh, for bringing uh, creative uh, technology to the forefront. Um, pretty much uh, the way that we look at it is if something's on fire, anywhere on the planet. We want to be there on the front lines with the firefighters mitigating that problem for their communities. Uh, you've seen us in, uh, in, in, in the Western United States in particular, uh, the things that we're doing with, uh, with the wildland urban interface, uh, the, the retardants uh, that we're dropping from the aircraft, uh, complete game changer over the last decade has radically altered the landscape of firefighting in that interface uh, environment. Uh, and we're convinced that we have the opportunity in the municipal fire market with Solberg Spartan to do the exact same thing for municipal firefighters, uh, not only in the United States and North America, but across the planet. And um, what a great partnership from the solutions and uh, Solberg, two, uh, two great names in the industry. Two great names, uh, heavily, heavily committed to, to research. We've got 20 chemists on staff who work tirelessly around the clock, uh, uh, in, you know, both here in the United States and in Europe, uh, to make sure that we're bringing the best technology to the market, uh, to make sure that we are impacting outcomes uh, for the end users, both the firefighters that are, are uh, delivering our products uh, in, a, in, a, in the real time, dynamic, dangerous, violent environment that they work, uh, as well as the, the homeowners, the property owners, the business owners. Uh, we really want to make sure that, uh, that we're looking at these problems uh, from a 360 degree perspective and bringing the best possible solutions to all of those end users. And as you know, from your time on the job and my time on the job, we look back over the years of how we use foam and the different types right. of foam. And back in those days, we knew no different. We were dealing with what we had. Now technology has moved forward. We're able to identify the issues with the old style. And we're now looking at how the, uh, the product becomes a lot more friendly, firefighter friendly, end user friendly in terms of what it contains and the harm it does to not only the planet, but also to right. ourselves. I know you guys are, uh, are really pushing forward on that. We, we are. Perimeter Solutions is incredibly proud of the work that we've done bringing fluorine-free technology uh, to the forefront. Uh, the, when, when foam was developed 50, 60 years ago, uh, we knew we had a, a product that was going to work better than water. We just hadn't worked out the bugs yet as an industry. Uh, and as uh, the 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 awareness about PFOS became, uh, you know, undeniable a decade, two decades ago. Uh, the, the foam industry kind of took a step back, unfortunately, in the municipal fire market. Uh, and we allowed a narrative to take place that, uh, that was essentially foam is bad, right? And, 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 and I think it was reasonable for firefighters to be scared uh, about all of the things that, that they were coming in contact with. Uh, we know now that the cancer is a leading cause of death. Uh, 
uh, in firefighters. Uh, you know, it's eclipsed heart attacks it, and it's, it's far outpaced uh, traumatic uh, injuries and fatalities. And, and, and that's, that's why it's so important to have these conversations to make sure that we're doing the best thing we can, uh, both for the environment and for the firefighters. And so uh, Solberg Spartan uh, is a completely fluorine free technology. Uh, it is, uh, it's not only fluorine free, uh, it's, it's also got that green screen certification, which is one of the highest environmental standards that you can get. Uh, so we feel very, very confident in saying that not only is this uh, safe for human beings, but it's as safe for the environment as we can possibly make it. So, And um, you look at that, the, the whole circle of life, really, if you're looking at the, the environment, ourselves, and uh, those that are going to come on in, in, into the future, we've got a we've got a commitment really to to make the foundation stick for the future. Well, we really do. We do. And and the the great thing about Solberg Spartan is its efficacy. Um, uh, multiple studies have demonstrated that when using foam like uh, Solberg Spartan uh, in a, uh, a structural firefighting environment, uh, the efficacy is, is plus 40% over water. Um, so not only is, is Solberg Spartan putting the fire out much faster, not only is it cooling the fire environment quicker, it's improving the visibility so it's safer for the firefighters to operate. We're using 40 to 50% less water to fully extinguish the fire. And I think that's really, really important from a lot of different perspectives. If you think about an engine company pulling up on a fully involved dumpster fire, uh, our standard operating procedure is to fill that dumpster up with water, right? Um, and, uh, and if we have 500 gallons of water, 700 gallons of water in our tank, we're putting that much water in that dumpster. Um, what happens though is all of the stuff that was in that dumpster now just entered the water stream. Um, and, uh, and, and, and it's how we've gotten into this cycle where we've got these forever chemicals that we just are dealing with on a, on a global scale now. Uh, and that's just one small piece of it. You know, the same can be said for vehicle fires on the side of the highway. You know, uh, we flood those, uh, we flood those vehicles with, you know, hundreds, maybe thousands of gallons of water. And where does that stuff go? Straight into to the into the streams um, but it's, it's not just that if you think about your typical bread and butter room and content structure fire uh, where you've got a, uh, a living room or a kitchen on fire it really only takes about four or five hundred gallons of foam to put a fire like that out but if we're putting that fire out with water we're pumping hundreds, if not thousands of gallons of extra water into those houses, into those businesses. And the residual damage that's done from that water to those property owners is, and oftentimes far exceeds the damage of the fire itself. Uh, and so we are, we are convinced that not only can we make firefighters safer using a, a foam first approach to their tactics and strategies, uh, but we'll also significantly improve the outcome for the, the homeowners and the business owners. They'll be able to move back into their house faster. They'll be able to click that open sign on the front of their business faster because we're pumping less water into those uh, those residences and, and businesses. Uh, and, and there's less damage that has to be mitigated by the, the restoration companies as, as a result of it. So, and, and I think you hit the nail on the head there in terms of uh, the responsibility of the, of the fire department to the customer. Right. Right. You look at it. And uh, I always remember the, uh, the, the late great Alan Brunacini said, how dare we be ending for the best when our people have got no choice of competitor. Right. You dial 911, you get the fire department. You can't go through the phone book and look for somebody else. So if the damage is not to the minimal standard required to put the fire out, right. we've got to be asking questions of why are we causing extra damage. Exactly. And uh, the, tr the basic triangle of fire, you talked about the dumpster. We put water on, why don't we just cover it and smother it? Exactly. Straight away. So it's straight. It's straight talking. And I think that the industry needs to certainly look and work with perimeter and companies like Perimeter that are giving options to what's out there and what's available. I have my doubts whether people are actually listening. People are hearing, but there's a big difference between hearing and listening. And I think it's time for the industry to step up and take the challenge because the manufacturers are giving you products that will deal with these issues in a ethical way for the long-term safety of firefighters and the environment. So any more information that you guys need in relation to Perimeter Solutions, Kurt and the team at Perimeter Solutions will be there for you. 
I'm Duncan White. I'm the managing editor of the International Fire and Safety Journal. And it's been my great pleasure to be talking to you, Kurt. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Have a great day.